In this video, we'll review some advanced properties that you can modify to gain more control over your virtual machines. Let's log in to vCloud Hybrid Service and get started. On the Dashboard tab, click the Virtual Data Center and then click the Virtual Machines tab. To get to the advanced properties, click Manage in vCloud Director. This will take you directly to your corresponding vApps in vCloud Director. Now that we're working with the vCloud Director UI, Let's see what virtual machines are contained within that vApp by drilling down from the vApp level to the virtual machine level. Next, click the Virtual Machines tab and then click the vApp. You have more options in vCloud Director than you do in vCloud Hybrid Service. In fact, let's switch back to the vCloud Hybrid Service UI to see what options are available there. These options are pretty standard. You can power virtual machines on and off, register or unregister for backup, create and delete snapshots, and launch the console. Now back to the vCloud Director UI, where you get even more options. You can insert media from the catalog based on how it's formatted, and you can install VMware tools. Some of these options are grayed out because the virtual machine is powered on. If it was off, you could power on the virtual machine and force recustomization, upgrade the virtual hardware version, or download a direct Windows Remote Desktop shortcut file you would also get a lot of control over snapshots. To get a closer look at the properties we can change, click Properties. You get a menu with several tabs where you can edit general properties, hardware properties, guest OS customization, guest properties, resource allocation, and metadata. Let's review some of these tabs in more detail. On the General tab, you can see the virtual machine name is different from the computer name. The computer name is connected to the NetBIOS name in Windows or the host name in a Linux system. This tab also tells you what operating system you're working with, what version of VMware tools you have, and what hardware is installed. You can even upgrade the hardware version right here. You get a lot of information on this tab, including what operating system supports CPU hot add and memory hot add, what virtual data center this is a part of, and what storage profile this is currently assigned to. Let's move on to the Hardware tab. This is where you go to change the number of CPUs, change memory, increase disk size, and resize certain disks. You can do things here that you cannot do in the vCloud Hybrid Service UI, like disconnecting the network adapter, adding additional network adapters, and changing the IP mode. You can manually type in an IP address if you want, or add additional network adapters. Let's switch over to a virtual machine that's currently powered off to enable guest customization. On the Guest OS Customization tab, we could change the SID, which only applies to a Windows virtual machine, or change the local administrator password. You could also force a domain join or choose a customization script to run. The Guest Properties tab is not applicable in our scenario because there is nothing user configurable. Finally, Let's look at the Resource Allocation tab. We're in a dedicated instance now, so we can set priority levels like giving this virtual machine's CPU a higher priority. Before you make changes to the settings here, understand what impact they will have on other virtual machines in your environment. Now you're familiar with several advanced properties for managing virtual machines in a virtual data center.